Hi guys, Craig here with American Bass TV. I have another pros pointer for you today. Before we get into this pros pointer, let me invite you to send in your own video for us to feature you in a pros pointer video. Send a video of you showing your favorite technique, lure modification, anything that you would like to share to help everyone else catch more bass. You can use your phone for the video, shoot it in the landscape direction, that's the wide direction. If you keep it under a minute, you should be able to text that right over to our office number. If it's too big to text, you can email it to info at AmericanBass.com. Don't worry about trying to make the video perfect. We can edit glitches that you might have in your submission. Then be sure to share these videos with your friends. Encourage them to subscribe and hit the notify icon. That way they will be notified every time we release a new video. Okay, let's jump into this pros pointer. This pros pointer is being presented by Patrick Friedman. A native to Southern California, Patrick has always had a passion for fishing. He is a founding partner of Bass Bros Fishing Vlog on YouTube and is the director of Water Boats Bass. In this pros pointer, Patrick shares his awesome details on A-Rigs. Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Friedman with Bass Bros Fishing and welcome to another ABA Pro Tip. I'm going to be taking you through the basics of an A-Rig, otherwise known as an Alabama rig or even an umbrella rig. Basically, I'm going to show you how I set up mine. I'm going to be using a Umbrella Flash Mob Junior with Kitek swim baits. You can use a swim baits of your choosing, but basically taking you through the steps of how I set up my own A-Rig. And it, at first, it seems like a lot, but it's become an awesome tool for me to catch big bass. And also, I promise to show you one of the most important tips that I just learned recently that you probably don't know about the A-Rig. Let's find out. So what ingredients are you going to need to bake this cake? Well, let's start off with five Kitex. They're all in the 2.8 inch. Four of them I'm going to be using Pro Blue, and one of them is going to be in the Electric Blue and Chartreuse color. And we'll get to where those are going next. And second, you need two screw locks. These are going to be for your top two wires. They're going to be your teaser swim baits. Next, we have are three lead heads. Now, I'm throwing two quarter ounce lead heads and one three eighth ounce lead head. Your three eighth ounce or heavier lead head is gonna go on your middle wire or back wire to make that thing swim right. So the first thing you wanna do when you get your A-Rig out is really spread these wires out besides your middle wire. You want that one to stay straight. Secondly, we're going to cut the swivels off our top two wires so that there's only bare wires. We're going to add screw locks to that eventually, and those will be our teaser baits up on top. So adding the screw lock is pretty simple. You just screw it onto that bare wire loop. It's going to hang off the end nice and straight for when you add your swim bait as a teaser on the A-Rig. So these two bottom prongs are where your lighter hooks are going to go. And this back prong is going to be your heavier hook. Adding the hooks to your clips is really easy. Just unclip it, put your hook on, clip it back up, and it should look like that. Now we get to some fun where we're actually putting swim baits on. Your teasers. You're just going to twist those on to the screw lock and make sure they're straight. Next, put your swim baits on your hooks. I'm putting all my Pro Blue on my teasers and my two lighter hooks. My electric blue and chartreuse shad is going on my straight wire or back heavy hook. So. Everything is pro blue shad, except for my back heavy hook. That's gonna have the electric blue shad on it. That's because that one tends to get bit more and having a little bit different swim bait can make all the difference. Thank you guys for following along. That's how I set up my A-Rig. I literally have caught a lot of fish on this thing and it attracts the big ones and attracts them from far away. So it's a dangerous tool to use at 
morning light or when there's clouds in the air, a little bit of wind, something to make sure that those fish can't see it super clear. It's a very powerful thing to have in your tool bag. Lastly, I told you I would show you something that you probably wouldn't even think to use on an air rig, and that's an O-ring. You're probably saying right now, we all know how to throw a Senko, but check this out. I'm gonna put an O-ring on this A-rig. You're probably thinking, what the heck can an O-ring do for an A-rig? Well, I'll show you, buddy. So, when you're not using the O-ring, it looks like that. And you can fish your A-rig just like that. But if you're a co-angler who's afraid to put an A-ring on their boat because it's gonna snag all your rods, check out what the O-ring can do for you. You're gonna slide that bad boy down and you're gonna store your A-ring just like that. And if you're worried about the fish seeing your O-ring, you're crazy because there's five wires on the back of your lure. All right guys, that's it for me. I'm Patrick with Bass Bros Fishing. Have a good day. Join ABA and fish some tournaments this year. Thanks for the great tip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help this channel. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.